Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Erica and I make videos all about making and selling candles. And today's video um, is kind of just an impromptu video. I have been really busy this week and I have not had a chance to make any videos for my channel. So um, I thought it would be interesting because yesterday my boyfriend and I did some spring cleaning and we moved a ton of things around in my apartment. So I actually now have two racks behind me as you can kind of see um, of all of my candle stuff. So I'll insert a picture right here of what it looked like before I rearranged everything so now I do have a lot more space so I have these two racks and then I have my um, it's like a long white table that I can you know put candles on when I'm making them so I thought it would be interesting to show you guys a video of me just cleaning everything up and I'm um, going through kind of a little storage tour inventory tour something like that probably more of a storage tour is what it would be so I'm gonna show you guys it'll probably end up being just a time lapse of me just going through and cleaning everything and then I'll take you guys through of everything that I have right now Okay, so this is what I have going on right now. And I'm just gonna take you guys through pretty much, well, I'll just take you through everything. Um, I'm gonna do the top pretty fast just because, I mean, I don't really wanna get those off of the top shelf. But um, this one right here, it doesn't look like it'd be that important, but it's a box I used to film, so it puts me at kind of the perfect height when I'm filming my videos. And then that box right there has just a bunch of packing paper in it. Um, I reuse all of the packing supplies that I get whenever I order something online. So a lot of this stuff up here, just these two, so this bin right here has a ton of, I call it air, but I think they're, it's like those plastic things with the air filled in it. Um, I reuse that, so I reuse that, and then the brown paper, and then I have a little bit of bubble wrap. I didn't realize when I bought that how little came in it, so I'm definitely gonna have to buy some more bubble wrap sooner than later. And then up here, I guess, I guess I could show you guys. I'll bring them down and show you. This was when I first started with my candle making journey. So these are all uh, little candles that I made with certain scents. And those were my old labels. So these were one of the first labels that I created. So similar to the ones that I have, but um, definitely still different. And then this one, so it's the same font. I just chose to um, put the text a little bit closer together because I liked it better. And um, these were the ones I actually brought to work. So my coworkers got a lot of candles. Um, within like a couple weeks, I would bring them to work and you know just show everybody his, anybody that was interested in learning about it. And then same thing with these ones. So these ones are just a lot of um, little tarts that I made in the very beginning. Um, some of them I wouldn't use at all. And other of them, like that Vacation Island one, 
I'm thinking about just using that because it's the same scent and I can just put it in as testers. And then this over here was just a little bag that I used the day that I made the samples for the first time and I went around to local businesses and just handed them out to everybody. And some of these scents in here, I actually haven't even like added it to my line or anything. One of them is, a, I think it's vanilla pumpkin, something like that, I don't know, it's really good. More for like a seasonal for the holidays when it becomes fall again. And those right there are just used for my studio lights. So when those bulbs burn out, I have another one because I use the studio lights all the time. They're actually on right now. And then um, if we're moving down this way, so this is actually a little candle that one of my friends gave me and she just loves the scent of it. So she kind of wanted me to look for a scent that's similar and I still haven't really been able to find one that's really nice. And then this is the wood slab that I use. So I got this at Michael's and this is what I use to um, take all of my photography photos. And then in here, this is where I keep all of my fake plants, my fake eucalyptus that I also use for my photos. I made this just to start organizing things. So this is holding my cotter pins and cotter pins are just what holds the wicks in place when I'm making candles. And then I have these shop towels that I got from AutoZone. So these ones absorb a lot better when I'm cleaning out the um, pitcher of all the scents and the wax in there. So I really like using that. And then right here we have my thank you notes. So these are little thank you cards I got at Target and I just write a handwritten thank you note for everybody that purchases something from my Etsy store. And then right in this little box is my business cards. And I realized that I don't think I've showed you guys my business cards before. So this is what they look like. And I designed them myself. And I really like the way that they came out. Um, I think that they kind of go with my whole theme and my whole, um, you know, look with my candles and everything. And then back there is my microphone. So I've used this a couple of times in some of my videos. I like to use it whenever I'm doing a video, like a tutorial or something where I'm showing you guys something because uh, when I was filming before on just my laptop microphone, it was pretty bad. So this one makes the quality, the sound quality just a little bit better. And it's really cheap. I think I got it at Best Buy for like 40 bucks or something. Um, it's not a fancy microphone or anything, but it works for now. And then right on here, I have all of my sticker paper. So all of my all of my labels are um, from onlinelabels.com and I have these round ones and then I also have and then I also have these, so these are the 1.5 inch, whereas these are the two inch ones. And these ones are my 2.2 by 2.83 inch labels. And those labels fit on uh, both of my jars and my tart melts. And then I use these. Um, these are custom made warning stickers that I use for the bottom of my jars and also for the inside of my melt. And of course I make custom ones for those ones as well. And then up here, I'm not gonna take these down, but these are all my boxes that I use for Etsy. And I realized that I wanna get another size because right now I only have, so it's four by four by six. And then I also have eight by eight by six. And I really wanna get eight by six by four. And that will have a smaller amount so that I don't have to put as much packing paper in there. When somebody orders either two candles or like a candle and a melt, which has been pretty popular for my sales. So I'm thinking about doing that. And then right here, this is all the inventory that I have in stock right now for my candles. So I don't have that much. And again, it's just because I've been so busy this week and I haven't had enough time to make candles. So this is all I have right now. So. This one, uh, Late Night Drive, I have one more Saturday morning cartoons. Um, my newest scent is Milk and Cookies, Sunday Brunch, um, Seaside Flowers, and then Vinyasa Flow. So these are the only candles that I have in stock and I only have the larger jars right now. I don't have the smaller ones because I ran out and um, the supplier that I get them from, they're out of stock as well. So I'm just working with the larger jars. And then coming over here, so this, <laughs> This is a mistake, kind of, that I've learned from, uh, is that I should have had a certain amount of jars that I was going to use for testing, but instead I was just grabbing new jars all the time to test with. So these are all testers, and I, <laughs> I uh, should have thought about it a little bit more because all of these, and this is me trying to get it out of the freezer. So... <laughs> 
If you're not too sure how to get candles out of the freezer, this one was kind of a fail, but it's because I didn't keep it in the freezer long enough and then I got frustrated with it. What I do is I put it in the freezer and then I use this thing. So this is like a cuticle pusher, it's metal, it's really sturdy. And then once it's really, really frozen and it's been in there for a long time, I will stick a, um, I will stick that in it and then pull it out and it should come right out. But these are all of my testers and I wanted to separate it obviously from my regular um, candles that are for sale because I don't know I, w I need to make sure that I grab these jars and reuse them when I'm testing new scents and then I'm not grabbing these ones down here right over here this is kind of my little it's like a little toolbox kind of um, in a way so it's behind my pitcher that has my wooden skewers so the wooden skewers are used to stir the fragrance oil in and a lot of times I reuse them. So these are my last two that I have, but before I was throwing them out after every scent, but then I realized that I can just reuse them for multiple different scents and it doesn't doesn't like taint the scent or anything like that. So um, that's on my little scale. So this is my gram scale that I use to measure everything with. And then um, these are little cups that I use to measure the fragrance oil. So I love these because it doesn't seep through because they're, um, they have that lining on them that it's not like thin, thin paper. They have that like almost like a waxy coating um, on the inside, like how parchment paper feels. And um, it allows me to be able to just hold fragrance oil in there for more than just a few seconds. And then I can pour it in. And um, I just love having them. They're like the tiny little, little shot cups. And then this I still haven't used. It's my little electric... I don't know what, I need to figure that out. I need to figure out how to use this. And then I have my wick trimmer. And then this one right here is another scale, but I use it for my fragrance oil because it's more accurate than this one. So this one's more for a heavier scale, for heavier items. And this one is more for lighter items and it can do point, um, like a percentage point of a gram. So it'll say like, you know, 12.2, grams or you know whatever so it'll give me decimal points and be a little bit more accurate than that one so I like to use that one and then um, if we go down here so right in here I put all of my wood lids and then um, that was I was using these three wick jars but that was a while ago and I I don't want to use them anymore just because they don't have ones that are matte black if they had ones that were matte black, I absolutely would be purchasing them, but until they get those, um, I don't really wanna have matte black jars and then also these clear jars. And then these are my Tarte containers. So as you can see, this one right here, so these ones are all ones that I'm reusing. So these ones were Tarte containers that I used, but then I opened them up and broke them apart to make them into samples. So I want to make sure that I'm reusing them and not just tossing them out because they're still good. So I just need to clean them up. And then those ones on the left are brand new ones. And right over here, these are all of my jars. So this one right in front, that is the last small jar that I have. And then everything else are my large jars. And these are all that I have left. Um, in stock right now so I'm gonna make these last as long as I can and depending on how long all of this is going on for and how much we're gonna be on lockdown um, I might be ordering my jars online and just biting the bullet and paying for shipping because typically I just drive there but I gotta do what I gotta do and then over here these are all of my mounts um, all the ones that have the labels on them are currently listed on my store except for the lemonade stand one which is just a scent that I need to reorder because I actually really like that one and then all the ones in the back those ones need to be labeled and then um, listed on my shop but I just love looking at this because of all like the pretty colors to it I think it looks really pretty and then these are all of my fragrance oils so a lot of these I haven't even tested yet a lot of the one ounce fragrance oils I haven't tested and then of course the larger ones are ones that I have gotten and even some of the larger ones like the bigger even like the four ounce or the eight ounce ones um, some of these I, I'm not even using I just ordered a bigger size right in here I have all of my wicks that I'm currently using for my jars and then I have the wick stickers and then right down to the bottom I have all of the um, dyes so these are all the dyes that I use for my melts 
And then over here, these are all my little sample packs that I make. So I take individually out the little cubes and I put two of them in. I put them in the little plastic baggies and then I put a little sticker on it just showing which scent it is. And then um, it's easier to have them all made. So when I'm making orders, I can just pull out one and then be able to just put it right into the package. Okay, and then right over here, I have all of my waxes. So I've talked about this many times in my videos, so I'm not really gonna be breaking this out. But um, as you can see, so the little blue things that are sticking out, these are my gloves. I don't like to have them get mixed in and have the opening of it right there get all covered in wax. So I like to have it hang out of the box just so I know that it's they're clean and they're gonna be easier to get on when I go to use them. So the one all the way over to the left, that is the box that I use for my wax tarts. And then I also have um, these two boxes here. So one of them is for wax. So this one with the glove on is for, is for uh, my regular container wax. And then this one is, I think it has four more slabs of the wax. So I'm doing pretty well on that one. And then um, all of the wax that I get is from California Candle Supply. I list everything in the description box below. So if you guys are curious about any of the things that I use, I will try to list most of it that I possibly can in the description box. And then over here, this is my packaging station, kind of. Um, so I have some green tissue paper and that is what I use to wrap up my melts and my candles before I wrap them in bubble wrap. And then the um, black poly mailers I use just for wax melt orders. And then over here, I have my printer. Um, it does a pretty good job for what it is. Um, it's not a super fancy expensive printer. I think we got it for 40 or $50 at Target a couple years ago when I just really needed a printer, but it does the job and I honestly probably wouldn't recommend it. There are a bunch of other really good printers. This is an inkjet printer. And um, again, for what it is, it does a pretty good job right now, but I'll probably wanna upgrade um, at some point once I start having more orders. And then last, but definitely not least, um, I have my Dymo. And this is absolutely one of my favorite things that I've ever purchased. It's really expensive, but it is so worth it once you start getting more sales and you have a lot of packages going out. Um, it prints four by six inch labels, and those um, are just kind of like the standard labels that um, you can print out for shipping labels. And um, it prints it right out, so you don't have to worry about having it print out onto a piece of paper and then cutting out the piece of paper and then taking tape and taping the package down. So all I do is it prints out and then I take that off of the little paper that's behind it and it's basically a sticker in itself. So the label is a sticker and then you stick it right onto the package and it makes everything so much easier. I've had it for a couple of years now when I first started on eBay and now that I'm doing Etsy orders, it's just, it's amazing, I love it. And then the last thing I wanted to mention was everything over here. So these are all wicks that I am no longer using and um, won't be using with any of my jars. So I'm trying to see what I'm gonna do with them. I might either sell them or later on down the line, I might make like a little like giveaway or something like that. Um, I'm definitely not going to toss them. They will go to a candle maker who will like to use them or maybe even making my own little sample packs in the future. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them, but I have that and then I have some warning stickers. And of course, I don't need the warning stickers anymore because I make my own now. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope that it was a little bit entertaining for you guys to see me going through and trying to clean up everything on my shelving unit and then going through and showing you how I store everything and all the items that I have. Again, I'll do my best to try to link everything in the description box below if you guys are interested in purchasing anything that I talk about in this video. And also, I just wanna say a huge, massive thank you to everybody in my candle community and sending me wonderful, nice messages. It is absolutely overwhelming and really incredible and I'm so happy that I can be a part of this community and that I can help lots of people. It makes me feel really, really good. And I just appreciate you guys so much. So if you guys liked this video, I would appreciate it if you guys would give it a thumbs up as well as subscribe if you're new. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Memory Box Candle Co. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.